DJs are weird. And I want to talk about that a little bit in this video. But before I do that, a couple other things. I'm obviously not at NAM. I'm home. I'm in the backyard here in Milwaukee. And by the way, it's 76 degrees and sunny. It feels a lot warmer than that, which is beautiful. It's been a very long winter. We haven't had any great weather until this week. It was the 80s the other day. Every picture that I've seen from NAM, people have been wearing jackets and it's been overcast where they're out posing in front of the sign. You know how disappointed I'd be if I went all the way to Southern California and it was colder than it is in Wisconsin, especially this time of year? No way. I wanna go back next year. It's gonna go back to January. Hopefully it'll be more back to normal where there'll be some more equipment launches, more companies will be involved, and I won't have all this opportunity to work, which is the next thing I wanted to mention. I'm gonna be at Safe House tonight. I didn't put any cool flyers up about it, didn't have any cool flyers made about it, but I'll be at Safe House tonight. So I'm making money instead of going to NAM. Anyway, DJs are weird. Normal people don't do what we do. Somebody in a comment section of a post I made about DJs being weird said, what's normal anyway? And my reply was, not you because you're a DJ. Okay, average, how's that sound? People who work day jobs, people who do things for money and not necessarily for the love of what we do. I could make a lot more money doing anything other than what I do, but I love doing what I do. Here's what I mean by that. Now, NAMM's going on, that's more of a musician thing right now, but if you go to a DJ conference, you know, any DJ conference, if you've ever been to one, can you think of one normal person that you've met? No, they're all weird. They're all a little different. And you may say, hmm, yeah, I've noticed that, Brian. Every DJ I've ever met is a little weird. I'm glad I'm normal. Guess what? You're just not self-aware how weird you are yet. We're all weird. How so? A lot of different ways. I've got my own weird. You've got your own weird. Some people said, oh, yeah, well, I really like equipment, and I like gear, and that's a little weird. No, that's being a consumer. That's what consumers do. They want the newest and latest thing, whether it's a phone or a TV or a car or a DJ controller. You know, sometimes it's just your personality type. It's not what you would consider normal <laughs> if you're doing what we do. I think it would be fair for me to talk about how I'm weird and how I'm self-aware of it. Music makes more sense to me than things like math. I've never felt the need to belong to a group or an organization or a club or a religion. Now that means that I may have some kind of different ideas about things, but I have no vetted interest or desire for anyone else to feel the way I feel about things. In fact, I gravitate towards people who think different than I do and look different than I do and act different than I do. If I met somebody who was just like me, I think I'd get bored really fast. And I haven't met anybody like me. I'm just that weird. And I know it. I'm self-aware of it. Are you self-aware of your weirdness? Because if you're a DJ, and not just a business person pretending to be a DJ, you're weird. You just are. <laughs> there's no two ways around it. We're all a little weird. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's a prerequisite for being a DJ. You have to be a little weird. Normal people don't do what we do. They just don't. So if you ever felt like you were a little different, or maybe a lot different, and you're a DJ, welcome to the club. I mean, that's one club we can all be in. We're a little weird. Even if our weirdness is a little different, because no two weirds are the same. Quick vlog today. I'm enjoying the weather, and I'm so glad that I'm not sitting outside of NAM freezing my butt off with a jacket on. That would be very disappointing. But I do miss everybody and look forward to seeing you NAM folks in January. That's it, we'll see you next time. Just a quick vlog for you. An excuse to get out in the sun and shoot a video. I'll get cleaned up later, sit around, relax, and go do my thing at Safe House tonight. And if you're around, come on down and say hi. That's it, we'll see you next time. I appreciate you so much. Practice and enjoy.